Hi, um, it's end of October, uh, it's snowing here, it's snowing like crazy, it's been snowing for two days. I went to school, uh, we live here because we like snow, but uh, I was, I'm in the midst of reading Steve Jobs, the biography uh, that was written about him, that he refused to edit, and uh, which I think was very honest of him, um, but I'm reading through it, and they're talking about how they use this term with a distortion reality, that he could distort reality and actually get people to do things that they thought was impossible. And he was demanding, apparently, and uh, would insult people. Uh, what I, the more I read about him, the more I'm absolutely convinced uh, he was self-actualized. He uh, was completely self-aware, knew who he was, knew how to get things done, knew that people are capable of doing more than they know how to do, or more that they think how to do, I guess. And he would apparently use any method, and a lot of it was de degradatory. Uh, but in the near the end of uh, talking about all this distortion reality, all of these things that he'd done, all these things that he's gotten people to do, and a lot of times just put things in perspective. There was a an example of where... He thought the boot up time was taking too long and went to the engineer and said, you know, we need, you know, just think about it. He said, 10 seconds, 5 million people. He said, you are you have lifetimes here of people waiting uselessly for something. And the guy said, I can't reduce it 10 seconds. And then a couple of weeks later, came back and had reduced it 28 seconds. Right? So he could, he knew things could be done. It was like Henry Ford, who uh, insisted on a eight cylinder engine and, his engineers designed the V8 because he said, I know it's possible. I know there's a, a smaller engine just as powerful as this possible. But great leaders, men who cause a difference, uh, are often called assholes. Uh, many people who I've heard to term as assholes, I go and search them out and talk with them because they're usually uh, being productive. But the point of this video, in the, in the book... Uh, the author says, could it have been done differently? Could it have been done in a kinder way or something like that? And then he says, yes, it could have been. And I've got to say, no, it couldn't have been. Uh, you can do whatever you want in your life as far as I'm concerned, and that's not permission. That's just the way things are. But second-guessing life doesn't make any sense to me. Could it have been done in a kinder way? No. No, Steve Jobs wouldn't have been Steve Jobs. The Macintosh computers, my iPad that I'm talking to you with, would not exist in their terms uh, as they ha exist right now because they exist because of how demanding he was, because that he was self-actualized, and he would step out into other spaces, apparently, and see, wait a minute, this is possible, and I know who can do it, and he could see who could do it. No, it could not have been done differently. How do you know? It wasn't. Hey, I go back to the example of a friend of mine who was, I, he passed away a few years ago, and I was lecturing in Las Vegas, and I said, we did everything for him, and one of the chiropractors in the front of the room said, no, you didn't, because if you did, he would be alive today. And I said, no, 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 it wouldn't have mattered. He would have died right then and there. Why? Because that's when he died, okay? You look back at life, you can go, well, what if, or if I'd only, <laughs> There's not many do-overs in life. This is the way it is. He is the way he was. I am the way I am. And uh, that's the way life works. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com